Hello everybody. So I'm getting ready to put in my number two refinement aligner from Aligner Co. And let me tell you a little bit about the first one. The first one when I put it in, it felt kind of painful. It was hard getting it in. Y'all saw the video. And that night, they felt real tight, which they're supposed to feel like that. And I say for two or three days, it felt real tight. Matter of fact, it felt tight up until, I think maybe the seventh day, I had it in to start loosening up. So I have to change them out every 10 days, which is not bad. Um, with these aligners, it's hard to snack. I'm a snacker, yes. And if you take it out too much, you know, it's not going to do its job. So, yes, yeah, so I felt a lot of pressure. The bottom teeth didn't feel that bad the first day they did. But it was mainly the top. And that's good because I want the top to move, you know. That's where I need the most work. So I'm going to get off camera and I'm going to come back and I'm going to have my old aligners out. And then I will be snapping these in on camera, okay? So this is what my teeth are looking like now. A tiny bit of changes, just a tiny bit. I still got this here though. I meant to tell them about that. I had to close that gap up because I had. I have that gap in the front and it was much bigger. And I guess that made it have a bigger gap here, which I didn't have. They're going to have to fix that. They are going to have to fix that. Huh? See, this tooth here is moving into place. These are moving a little. So that was just the first refinement so I have to give it some time I have to still say this process is pretty good the main problem is that could be a problem is when you go out to eat you must have a container or something to put those aligners in because um, I took them out the other day and I had them on my bed I wasn't out and I couldn't find them and I was looking all the way I said oh my goodness I don't want to have to pay no more to get no more um, of these refinements. So I looked and looked and I found it. But if you're out to lunch or dinner, make sure that you have a container in your pocketbook or something because you don't want to lose these. Okay, so I am going to snap the bottom and I have my mirror here. That's why I'm looking over here. It's a little hard to put in. Got it in. I got to get my chewy. I thought I had it with me here. I'll be right back. Also, if you have children or pets, please keep these out of their way because, you know, kids will like to play with it. And then you will lose them. So I got the bottom, now the top. It was easy to get the bottom in this time. Let me see about this top. That's what it looks like. Oh. Uh oh. So I noticed that the, the bottom doesn't really hurt, it's that top that's hurting. 
It's hurting, but it's bearable. It's bearable. I feel like this one is not in right. I don't want to break it. And these chewies are a must. They tell you to use it throughout the day, like right there. Hold it a little bit. Got all this hair in my face in my mouth. So a line of comb mainly concentrate on the front teeth which is good for me. But if you are having problems like all over your mouth towards the back and stuff like that, try to, um, tradi try, I can't talk, try the traditional braces for that because they only do the front and for the money, even though it's still a little expensive, I said, um, you know, I just want the fronts looking nice. So they tell you to keep these in, I think it's a 20 to 22 hours, but it's mainly 22 hours, which means that you're not gonna have that much time to eat. So I find myself sometimes like rushing through, rushing through meals, you know, so I can have these in the right amount of time. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. If you if you follow all the suggestions, like I said, make sure that you have these in the place where you won't be losing them. If you have kids that's interested in this, you know, you just let them know that you have to keep a container and keep up with your aligners because you will have to pay for them if you lose them. Okay, because sometimes... They have you go back a step or two, and they tell you to save all of your aligners. Like I have my old aligners, what I started with, and then I got a email and they said keep everything, everything that came in your kit. They want you to keep that, okay? Which is good because what if you have a problem um, and you okay? For instance. What if you went on vacation for a week or so and you didn't have your aligners? Okay, so then when you get home, your aligners may not fit properly. So they may tell you to go back a step or two, you know, so it's good to have those aligners and keep them. And like I told you before, these came with just one set of retainers, so I will have to buy more because I think I read somewhere where they only last like six months. I remember when my daughter had braces, she had regular braces and um, she had the regular retainers, the, the metal. I think those kind of better, I think they are better because they are long lasting. As long as no dog or your child is not chewing on those things, they will last a long, Time, but these you have to replace these. So. So that's what it's looking like in the retainers. So. so I'm gonna keep coming back and sharing this journey. It is easier than regular braces. I never had regular braces. And I noticed when I used to, have to take my daughter and it would have to tighten it. And um, these are all done from home, which makes it a lot easier. I have to send them pictures of my teeth with the retainers in. And I have to have this in my mouth and take pictures. And then I just send it to them. Matter of fact, after this video, I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's going to look kind of gross, y'all. 
See, like that. You have to take it. Take scissors from the front, the side, side, up here, and down there. Okay. And then we're going to and if you have crowns, I do have some crowns. I had a crown come out last year when I went away with my sister for my birthday. I went to her house in another state. And I went in the drugstore. My crown came flying out my mouth. Thank God I was able to pick it up and put it in the bag. So I couldn't get back to my dentist right away. And then when I did, they said, this thing don't fit anymore. And I'm like, can't you put some kind of glue or something in there? Like y'all be doing it all the other time. Always trying to get more and more money out of you, you know? So um, I think I still have it, but they trying to arrange me to, for me to get a new crown and stuff crowns don't really last that long on me i don't know about anybody else but they don't really last that long on me so my next step are partials like i have that's where that's where it broke off right here and then i have missing teeth here so I'm just going to get partials. After all this is over with, I'm going to get partials in the back. And that's going to be it because dental work is so expensive. You guys know how it is. It was very expensive. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. It was a young lady that told asked me, Maybe a two weeks ago. I cannot remember her name right now. But young lady, if you're watching, you wanted me to do these. said, are you going to do any more aligner videos? And I said, I will be doing some refinement aligners soon. So if you're watching and you're thinking about this, do your research. And if it's a good fit for you, you know, get, get a line of Okay. All right everybody so i will talk to you again soon bye now